Well, uh, well guys, how's it? How's it? So it's been a while since I did one of these ones. I think this one will be like a bit dark and in depth. So I've recently made this type of song and I'll drop it some time later this and in the upcoming months or so. So this tutorial will be like a bit more into deep into things so it will take a bit more time so if you want to listen to the song a bit i think you can just keep just keep me just keep somewhere to the back i don't know when I'm not sure so what happens here is that i have this progression to start off things things is this is a very simple deep house track but it has some as out of those chords and a bit of emotion yana so this is what i start with here i think this is a very simple progression i think this progression is very simple straightforward yeah and then there's that is that so how it starts off is like this and play it here yeah. i can tell it's clipping a bit because yeah when it clips it just means the song is too dangerous you must just understand <laughs> anyways there's this appreciator next I think this is it. No, this is not it. These are my hi hats. <coughs> <coughs> so, and Banjo Coco straight. And then you have this thing here. So it's just closed up. That's why you can't barely hear it. So if we play it there. <laughs> As this plugin go from T Force, T Force Alpha Plus. I've been using a lot of this plugin on Afro tracks, but kind of did well here. Yeah. So that that's how I use it simply. I start simple progression. There's this. I started with this one. Then I decided to add this 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 thing, which is the root key of the song. Sounds all over the place, but and, and when the song plays, it sounds good. So effects that I use here, yeah, I just high pass the whole thing, and then this is a pancake used to for panning. You can see it kind of goes left and right, but I didn't want to go all all about because. I can hear the difference when I do 100%, so I'll just keep it at, at some point there. This thing here, I didn't use it, and then I just hoi reverb, yeah. It's just that simple. I want this song to be a bit empty in, in a space, so this appreciator kind of throws everything. Also, its volume wanted it to be a bit high up as compared to the other things that I usually do on the song. And then let's go to drums. Eh? So this is the kick I start with, one of my kicks. I think it's a sample pack, I'll, I'll drop the sample pack later this, maybe February or January, because I've been working on it, starting to come together nicely. That was just one of those kicks. Just high passed for now. You can see I've added the, there's this EQ, and then there's this one, which I have automated, so. That's how it plays. So this is the automation of the second EQ, which kind of gives that effect. And then we have everything else, which is a layer of shakers, and then a snap. 
And then what else? Is that? I think this is the same thing as on the other one here. Yeah, I kind of did a mistake here. So maybe, yeah. The funny thing is, I already exported this song with that. Maybe it sounds better with it, anyways. Then there's that clap also. And then there's these hats which are kind of randomized. Yeah, they give you texture grind. Texture grind. Then you have your shakers, then your tifos. So we have something like this on the drums to start everything. That's just heavy effects and everything. So after that, we go to the other main part, which is this these chords. Yeah, I think these chords are the most important part of the song. Add them that up. They kind of follow the same progression a bit, but there's like upper keys. Yeah, what I always do. Uh, Progression for the whole song, and then ah, that's it for this section. It's that. <laughs> section is probably my favorite section here because of how subtle it is okay I think uh, what, we, what I should do is I should do <coughs> let's do something like this because the song is not playing clearly so let's just take this thing and put it here because this is the whole song so each section will just play it here and then afterwards we'll just explain so I'm just going to play this section first <laughs>
let's see how dope that part is. I think this is probably my favorite part of the song because I've started like drops. I don't, I don't usually do this kind of drop by uh, this very chilled drop, but makes sense. Glang, glang, glang. So here as you can see I've removed most of the things and then I opened up the, the kick. It's just it's, it's that simple. There's not much that I did. There's not much that I did. As you can see the frequency that I've chopped off, especially before right before the drop here for this one, for this app. Just because I was playing solo at this point. I removed this space here for everything. <laughs> So what I introduced next is just this kick here. Yeah? I think this is a simple kick. Just for a groove, man. Works well with this one and uh and the claps. Okay, the automation is open up that point. Chords. And then we have this thing here cut off, which is also kind of kicked, removed at this drop also. If the song is at that point, like we are shy to pass straight, and then later on, I just introduced this kick, which is a bit cubey. I like I like it because it's just opened up. It it does it's it's kind of hollow. Man. Bass from Spires preset that I used, and also what I can say about this bass, just kind of giving it some space, man. Reduce the reverb a bit, not that much, and then I kind of push that that low end yes, without the, the reverb. Doesn't have that much space. So this rhythm of this thing here yeah, is it's, it's quite tricky, the <laughs> rhythm of this bass, <laughs> but it works very well. This this short space here, uh, introducing that bass is it's, it's too good. From here.
tell this section like we're going in track is progressing smoothly after this kind of subtle drop so we're going to check these things out there's this part that kind of plays a, a lady here <laughs> There's a mistake there. Is this sound here? Yeah, I forgot to remove it. Yes, yes. I have to export again. Anyways, let's move on to this section. Yeah. So here, I just introduce everything back. Just the shakers, the bass, and then all the hats and the other things. There's nothing much that goes on to the song at that point. And then after only after this section that I get to do something else. As you can see, I kind of automate the, the the EQ which kills the low end of the kick. So we're going to go back again to something that we kind of had in the beginning here, whereby we have that kick which is baseless. With everything else, as you can see, everything is in here. So there's not much, not not much has changed. So let's do that. I think I, we also have this new sound here. Just something J, which is sounded a bit unnecessary, but it does the trick. <laughs> So you can see I kind of build up towards this part here, which is almost bridge like because there's nothing here. And then we're still continuing with that kick, which is high past. But then I remove the base at this point because I just wanted to bring in these things here. Can you hear them? These things are dope. These chords, yeah. This one was tricky. Uh, it was uh, it was very tricky because I don't. I'm not sure these things follow the right type of progression, but I don't know why they they sound so good together. Because lean one, two, three, four. And I think there's something like that four times, and then this one has like it's only three times. One, two, three. So yeah, I don't I don't know how that happened. <laughs> But I managed to make it work because it's things the same thing even if in this second part.
sounds good to me then this is the part that I'm talking about yeah so let's just put that to it <laughs> Cool. Kind of arranged both parts the same way, but there's differences between the two parts. <coughs> For me, this is how a device track should be not that complicated. I like them this way. Some are complicated, some I like them while well, they are complicated, but for me, yeah, just love them this way. <laughs> quite happy with the song I'm quite happy with the song maybe we should just give it a listen I'm just listening to it yeah
Yeah, guys, I'm going to end it there. I'm going to end it there. See you another time. I'm going to check out another one. Another one. Oh, boo.